doesn't, something seems off with this dome. It does not feel the way it should. Hmm. Close enough. I'm not sure what's going on with this dome. It just doesn't feel quite like usual. I, th I think maybe I just didn't get enough moisture in the dough. I don't know. Or maybe it's just been too long and I don't remember. But no, I've made enough bread that the dough just doesn't feel quite right. So we're just going to see how it turns out. Um, uh, this is only the second time I have made bread here in our Missouri house. I've made sourdough, but um, I need we need some bread for school lunches and just bread. So hopefully it turns out. And if not, whatever, do the dang best you can. It'll be good toast if nothing else. But yeah, it just it's just a little bit too stiff. It should be have a little bit more play to it. Oh well. I think it feels like play-doh. Do <laughs> you think it's play-doh, huh? It feels like play-doh. So this is day three of the girls being gone away at school. Um you know, it's it's been different. It's been a lot different here at home without them. Um, you know, they don't cause a lot of contention. I mean, it's usually the little, the youngest two that cause the most problems. That's lovely. It's usually the younger two that cause the most problems, but there is a different family dynamic, that is for sure, having them gone. Um, I'm a little frazzled today, just trying to get everything done and organized and I don't know part of it is my Hashimoto's is being stupid today and I don't really know why but it doesn't matter you just roll with it but you know trying to just get everything done with things that I'm I'm used to asking the girls to help me with you know it puts a different dynamic on me as the mom to have to do more and obviously that's my job I'm the mom but I also firmly believe that as a family unit you work together and you help and you serve and you do things for others that you can and I have wonderful children that help in a lot of aspects of life some of those look funny but that's okay we got it done it's been good it will be good for the kids to learn to be more independent the younger two you know because when Sarah needs help we'll be like hey can you help her can you do this but she's seven and she can do more for herself than I think she thinks she can um, and I think that we tend to as parents baby the last one because in my opinion you don't have another baby to realize that they're older and so it's like, I don't realize she's as old as she is. And like Emma was doing a lot more at Sarah's age than Sarah is. And so I think it's been good to kind of help them grow up a little bit too and help serve each other. And they're doing great in homeschool. I'm so pleased. Sam has struggled with some writing and reading and this year he just seems ready. So I'm really excited about that, that we were able to really power through and kind of get caught up and just you know, help him advance at his level and Sarah advance at her level. I'm just really, really excited about that. I'm excited to hear how day three went. Day two was better for both of them than day one. So hopefully day three will bring more friends, more peace. So I'm excited to hear how they did today. But I have been driving them in. It's it's a 15 minute drive. It doesn't feel that long though. Maybe it's less than 15, I don't know. So they'll, they'll start taking the bus next Monday. I just wanted to baby them a little bit this week and take them and pick them up and help them get a little bit more used to the area, you know, but it's an adventure. I am getting things crossed off my, woo, that's strong to do list. I still haven't tried cooking with my fresh wheat dough. I need to get on this. But one other thing that has been nice having the girls gone 
is that it, it, it frees up more emotional space for the, the younger two kids. Um, I'm able to give them a little bit more. I'm able to, you know, work with them, sit down with them more, which is interesting. I didn't think that the, the big kids took up that much time and energy, you know, but they do. I don't want flies in here. I've got fruit flies in my kitchen. Um, but it, it does. They take up energy, which they should. They're your children and you love them. But having them step out of the picture, that for sure leaves room for the little ones to be nurtured. And then when the big kids come home, the little kids are having their screen time, their gaming time, because they've been hard at school all day. And so then that changes the dynamic that I'm able to nurture the bigger kids when the little kids are, you know, having their alone time or their screen time. So I think the decision so far has been really good. And we have no problem pulling her back and bringing her back to homeschool if things go south this winter, which I expect them to with COVID. We just, it's so, the times are so uncertain. We just don't really know what to expect. So we are just working with it on a daily basis as, as we can. That's all, that's all you can do. things you can do with leftover sourdough start. I just haven't been adventurous enough to reach out and do that yet. So, so far, that's just gone to the compost. We did make some really good pancakes out of it. So I, I should just get organized enough and do that so it's not just going to the compost. So I put a rubber band on the jars so you can see how much it's growing and it helps me check on the health of the starter. I don't see any bugs. That is good. I don't prefer bugs in my food. <laughs> I usually change the jars out every two or three feedings so we don't get any bad bacteria growing. I need to find I've got more jars like this. I just don't know where they are, so I'll do it next time. I do want to hurry and cook with this. Maybe I can tonight, we'll see. Because I don't want to feed two different starters, but until I know and to hydrate this one, um, I don't want to get rid of it. I'd rather do it this way with the fresh wheat, but I need to have a backup dehydrated starter in case something goes wrong. She speaks less. How <laughs> was it? It was good. The yeah. best day of the week so far. Wonderful. Day three. Third day's a charm? Yep, apparently. So yeah, it was good. It was not your turn, but you just said you agree. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> I'm, kid I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hey, anything awesome that made it awesome? Um, just I'm getting used to everything, getting acquainted with my surroundings I'm not lost all the time and I'm more comfortable so I'm really glad how about you it's good you seem happy yeah it was good I, I only looked at my schedule like three times that's awesome I did it zero times <gasps> I just didn't know for sure and I don't want to go in the wrong class and be like hi I've totally done that oh wrong class period sorry come in an hour <laughs> but yeah, it was good. This one has something to say. She's standing here staring at me like, it's my turn. It's my turn. Well, third day, they're no longer chatterboxes. 
I'm glad. I'm glad you're having a good time. I'm glad you're having a better time. Thanks for joining us today here on our crazy adventure. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow.